Well, hello there. It's Ainsley here, your life transformation coach. Welcome to your daily adventure fest. So yesterday I did a big ranty video. You might have seen it. I've actually taken it down now because it was a little bit self-serving and, you know, lots of fucks and this and that. Um, I thought that I was doing it for the right reason and I and you know what I actually do believe that there was some benefit in doing so but I did have someone that loves me very much ask me to take it down because it didn't show me in a very positive light and uh, usually I mean it, it's one of those things that you know think there are going to be things that I do that don't show me in a positive light because I want to be real with my audience and with my videos and and how I present myself to the world because I can't handle being fake because I suck at it. But anyway, I took it down because as well, you know, Adventure Fest is a fun brand and it's all about, hey, come out here and have fun. So what I wanted to, what I got from that, right, and it was really interesting today, I was looking at it and thinking, okay, I need to do some work on my money mindset. Like that's what's come from it, the realisation that I... There's still some residue, and I've been working on money mindset stuff for the last, well, since July, right? And just doing a ton of work, like day in, day out. And I find that when I do all the work, I have success, and then I stop doing the work because I've had the success, and then I splat to the ground. And that's, that's the same with anything in when it comes to being successful at something because what happens is that the universe or whatever god or whatever you want to call it slapping you upside the head going nah you ain't finished with this yet you need to work this out um and keep going and learning so that your learning is sustainable so anyway i thought i'm gonna have a bit of a look at my old journals and i did and then i realized that there was a common thing and the common theme and my frustrations and, and stress around, you know, like having money come in and then having a shortage, or not even a shortage, like I've been, I've been able to get by, but for me, I'm done with that. Like I'm done with going, okay, cool, I've got that, I've got enough to get accommodation. No, I don't want to think like that anymore. I want to think like, yeah, I'm going to have so much fun and do these activities and do all this great shit. Um, instead of like budgeting and, and worrying about whether I can or I can't because that's kind of unfortunately that's one of the things that goes is like the being able to do a jungle trek or zip lining or things like that because it's so expensive here anyway so I thought well what I'm gonna do is go through all of my old journals from July last year and it was pr very profound because Two days out of that, they were happy and I feel great and I feel this and that, wonderful. There were kind of one or two days where I didn't do it. And the rest of the time was anxiety, worry, stress, overwhelm. What am I doing? How am I go What's going on here? Now, I know I'm a life transformation coach, but you know what? It never ends. Like your personal development never ever should end because it's a constant quest of growth. It's an expansion. You don't you don't fix yourself. You don't become this perfect person just because you did a course once or or anything like that. Personal development is a lifetime commitment if you want to better yourself and improve yourself, like like learning any skill. And so for me, and because of I do what I do, I uncover a lot of shit around old thinking that I've had throughout my life and, and that I've adopted. And so, yeah, I was reading this stuff and I was thinking, fuck, man, like this, these stories I'm telling myself, these stories that I am keep going over and over and over again, like, and, you know, I'm not saying that I'm walking around feeling miserable all day from this journaling, the reason I write the do the journaling is to get it out and then I get on with my day. So they always end with some kind of aha moment um, to get me out of that state and out of that frustration. But then the next day or the next couple of days later, I'm back into it again and it's just this pattern that's been going on and on and on. Now you, my friend, will probably be doing the same thing with something. Who knows what? That's, you know, I'm sure you'll figure that out. It could be, you know, if you're trying to find a relationship and you can't meet someone, it could be that. It could be, it could be money. Um, it could be trying to get the dream job that you want or 
get that rental property that you want or anything that you that's causing you stress there stress and angst and worry I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh, excuse me um, anything like that is going to keep coming up because what it is it's like this abyss of uncertainty and I figured this out two weeks ago when I did um, was when I was doing some work on myself and I was like where's it coming from and you know this whole thing's been a gradual process and it was like oh this anxiety comes from uncertainty and so now it's about being be like breaking that and how to break that and so if you're if you're if you've got a bunch of stories running I guarantee if you journal for a week you'll be able to see a common theme so I highly, highly recommend it. Like if you're in some kind of pain, angst, frustration, and something just keeps coming up, I guarantee there'll be a whole bunch of stories. Like I was finding that I was writing the exact same sentences word for word in different journal entries. It, it, it's that, that entrenched in my head. And so how do I overcome this? Well, here's the thing. The strategy that I'm going to use for my money mindset. Now, this is a big one. This has been a massive one for me. It's like an abscess that you just, you, you, on your butt, you're just trying to get rid of it. Um, whereas, well, I mean, with my self-confidence and self-awareness and all of the intangible per, like um, mindset stuff, I've done pretty much the same process on. And the first thing is about committing to change it. Like, for me now, I'm committing to change my money mindset. Like, there is just no way about it. I cannot do this anymore to myself and this stress and whatever. Um, because I'm sick of seeing, yeah, money comes in, and then I've got to count it and budget and watch it. Because having your own business, you don't know when it's going to come in again. But I also know that I'm in control of that. I'm in control of the money that comes in. Okay, I can't control the people who decide to work with me or not, but I can control how I feel about it, think about it. And when my energy is not right, when my energy is negative, entitled a little bit like I was yesterday, um, and just not, not in a happy space and in a like grateful space, it pushes money away. And I know that. And I know that that's what I'm doing. And so... Obviously, there. even though I logically know it, I need to undo 39 years worth of money stuff. Um, and I've done a lot of courses on this as well. But you know what? I did the courses and then I just wandered off and went back to my old ways. And now I'm getting it. It's taken me this long to actually get it. Like the first money mindset course I did was when I did my NLP back when I was 29 or 30 or whenever it was. So, yeah, so you, you need to make the commitment, and that's what I'm doing. I'm making the commitment to change this area of my life and change my story. Because when you change your story, then you change your external world. When you change your internal world, your mindset, you change your external world. And that's what I've done so far. You know, I mean, I, I, was, I wanted to live and like travel and live the laptop lifestyle, and I'm doing that. Um, I changed my internal world to believe that I could do this and then changed my external world, now I'm here. Uh, other areas of my life, like being social, my eating habits are really, really good. My um, exercise could do better. But, you know, there's always things in your life that you want to work on and improve. My, my mood and my temperament has changed a lot. Like, I'm a lot more emotionally intelligent um, where, you know, if some, something doesn't bother me as much. And so, except for yesterday. <laughs> that was a special time. Um, yeah, and so that's what you need to do. If, you're, if you've got something that's been bugging you and you've probably been like that for so long that you didn't even notice. Like, I didn't even notice that I was pretty much writing the same shit every other day uh, until I went, I'm going to read back through my journal. And I just went, wow, man. And... I'm so bored of this, I'm so sick of myself, I'm sick of victim, victim, whiny bullshit. And that's what I've been doing. And so today I committed, I was like, right, I have to do this. I am committed today. This is one area of my life that I need to sort out. Um, because, well, 
it's it, it's survival and it's but it's also my business and wanting to have success in my business that's sustainable as opposed to going yeah I'm doing really well cool oh yeah no yeah like it's it's exhausting and I've been doing that but that's because I've had all these programming running underneath in my subconscious that sabotages the the flow and it stops the flow and that's why I've been doing a lot of law of attraction and quantum physics um, money mindset learning and that sort of thing so that's it now if you have this problem yourself then I highly recommend like th this is the path you need to commit first of all to actually changing that aspect of your life with whatever it is okay it doesn't necessarily have to be money but if it is do that um, the second thing is that you've got to look at the fear so I've been spending a lot of time looking at the fear not in a like I've been journaling in the negative way that's kind of become a bit habitual that I have to break but then also looking at it as a as another person and saying okay so what is the fear what am I afraid of what's what is it that's stopping me from actually just shining and that you know what for me posting this video and being completely honest about it is my way of just putting it out to the world um, and saying you know what that's we we all go through it we all go through it like I've got um, like some people I follow that have struggles and they're earning a shitload of money money mindset struggles so they still go through it when they're earning a truck ton um, but the, the successful people of the world have learnt that they need to do this work in order to um, get the results they want even Oprah she even talks about it so if you want to get that area of your life sorted whatever it is yeah commit to it okay face your fears look at the problem and then every single day oh yeah and change your story you want to change your story um, even if you want to journal for a week first and then look at it and go okay and just see the common themes that are running through what when you journal and what I mean by journal is just to write whatever comes out right however you're feeling like you might be one of those people that has no problems whatsoever that is awesome um, and so what you need to do yeah is just get that going and then commit to getting that area of your life sorted so if you want to get a hold of my fantasy life creation pack get on over, head on over to my website it's ainsleym.com and in that fantasy life creation pack you will get my fun brain goodie bag which is all about your mindset and helping you get into the right mindset to make the changes in your life that make you feel successful so whether it's travel starting a business um, finding love finding yourself even more so money whatever okay that's what you need to just that's what you get out of the fun brain goodie bag there's a video in there there's an audio lesson and there's also a worksheet then you also get the fantasy life creation pack the fantasy life creation pack is a planner and a worksheet and then also an audio on how to create your fantasy life using the five principles that I use to develop anything everything in my life to get me to where I am right now and I'm using this consistently even in this money mindset thing I will use I use this on everything I use it I used it on eating habits I've used it on confidence I've used it on um, like putting myself out there to the world and just being completely me uh, all sorts of different areas of my life I've used this formula and now I'm using it on my money mindset so all you need to do is go to www.ainsleym.com and sign up for that and you'll get it straight away so have a cracking day